Hey everyone, it is Disney Infinity 3.0 release day, and uh, I made the mistake of ordering it on Amazon. I wanted the PS4 exclusive Saga edition that included Boba Fett, and you know, um, because Disney Infinity 3.0 releases on a Sunday, I don't get it till tomorrow. That being said, there are a bunch of store exclusives today. Um, the cast, or crew, I guess, of Star Wars Rebels. Uh, each crew member is at a different location, um, starting with Target. And so I am here at Target in Virginia Beach, Virginia, looking to pick up the store exclusive here, which is Sabine, and, uh, you know, see what other figures are out that I want to pick up for Disney Infinity 3.0. In a week, this place is going to be all decked out for Force Friday. Um, I'm still debating if I want to come to a Target or if I want to come to a Toys R Us. Target seems like they're going to have some store exclusives as well as some cool events. Uh, but right now everything's still back to school and, uh, you know, the usual. But heading back towards electronics now for the Disney Infinity stuff. Here we go. Here's the Disney Infinity 3.0 end cap. So I'm going to pick up this uh, Twilight of the Republic power disc pack. Obi-Wan Kenobi. And the store exclusive here is Sabine from Star Wars Rebels. Other 3.0 characters include the Mickey and Minnie Mouse, Olaf, the um, characters from Inside Out, and Tron. I think I have to get Tron because uh, these are pretty awesome. And here's Yoda. Success! I got the two Tron figures, I got two Star Wars, and I got the Power Disc Pack. Next up on my list, Walmart. <laughs> Here we are, one of my least favorite places ever, Walmart. I always feel defeated coming to Walmart. Like I couldn't figure out a better alternative, or I gave up my, uh, you know, my high standards for 30 cents cheaper prices. But I'm here for the exclusive, which is, um, I believe, uh, Kanan from uh, Star Wars Rebels. For the heck of it, I'm going to walk around the shirt section to see if they have any of the Star Wars uh, Force Awakens shirts out. Like, you know, a BB-8 shirt. Or this Star Wars Force Awakens shirt. I'm going to see if I can get a better view here. Hold on one second. Here it is. Now, it probably won't ring up, but I'm going to give it a try anyway. Here's another Force Awakens shirt, Kylo Ren. And even though it's not Force Awakens, another Star Wars shirt. They have a bunch of different kinds, as you can see. They've got this one with all the ships on it. All right, so I know these are out in stores, but from what I hear, they don't ring up. We'll see if I have any luck. Oh, look at this. There's more here. Captain Phasma and the new uh, First Order Stormtrooper. And even more. I like this one a lot. So it's funny because they have these here, but none of the shirts are actually on the shelf. So I wonder if either they've sold out, like of every single size, or if they took them out but left the, uh, the little items here to let you know what's coming. Because look, there's a BB-8 shirt. There's no BB-8 shirts in there. But the original trilogy stuff is in there. All right, let's get what I came to get, which is Kanan Jarrus. Very cool. This is probably the only thing that I'll be able to cash out with, but we'll see. No luck on the t-shirts. Mm. I'll be back on Friday for Force Friday to pick them up then. But uh, I did get my Kanan at least, so. Still a successful trip. I got what I came for, you know, and there was always a chance I wasn't going to get the t-shirts anyway. Oh well, I tried. Next up on the Magical Infinity Tour is Toys R Us for the exclusive Ezra Bridger uh, Infinity Action figure. Uh, you know, this is a, a Toys R Us that's not really in the best area of town, or as Kyle from View from the Cheap Seats likes to refer to it, the one where I feel like I'm going to get stabbed all the time. So let's try not to get stabbed. Ooh, Force Friday, September 4th. For this one, I went ahead and ordered it online and just did merchandise pickup. That way I didn't have to rush around here. They opened at 8 a.m. this morning for Infinity stuff. And I just, uh, you know, every place that I was going to was opening at 8 a.m. And, you know, just in case, you never know. I went ahead and uh, just ordered it online. 
While I'm waiting, look at this awesome <laughs> bat bot. I've seen this in person before and it like moves and transforms and it has a Batman in it. It's pretty awesome. When Star Wars Rebels came out, the Inquisitor was the villain of season one. Awesome villain, really great, but no one wants him. Well, he's kind of creepy, so I don't know that kids are really going to want him. And he's dead now. Spoilers, if you haven't seen season one. And so originally he was $30, now they're giving away these 31 inch Inquisitors for $10. It's a great deal. Still don't want one, but still, great deal. Four days, 12 hours, 10 minutes-ish till uh, Force Friday. Thursday, September 3rd at midnight. They have nothing in the aisle right now. Um, and everything's pretty much barren waiting for uh, Force Friday to come in and and fill up the shelves. This place is going to be a madhouse Thursday night. Toys R Us has buy one get one 50% off. I picked up Yoda and Ezra. As you can see, everything is in plentiful supply, so I, I needed to not worry. But, you know, better safe than sorry. Here are the same ones we saw earlier. The same power disc packs. Also available from Disney Infinity 3.0 today are the Inside Out game and Twilight of the Republic, set during the Clone Wars era. Last stop, GameStop. And uh, for Zeb Aurelios, and uh, I'm thinking he's the last one I need. So heading in now. Here's what's on the shelves. There is no Zeb on the shelf, but I did pre-order it. Here he is, the Zeb Aurelios timed exclusive for GameStop. For some reason, Hera is not available um, as a store exclusive or, as far as I know, even announced. That's kind of a bummer because she's my favorite character on Rebels. Next to Chopper, of course, who is also not available. All right, so uh, it is the next day. You can see I've changed clothes. And my Disney Infinity is in the mail. I wanted to do a quick unboxing for you guys. But before I unbox this, this is the Saga Edition, or the Saga Bundle. It includes uh, the exclusive Boba Fett. It also includes everything that comes with the original Disney Infinity, which is the... Um, Twilight of the Republic play set, which includes Ahsoka Tano and Anakin Skywalker. It also includes Rise Against the Empire, which um, is basically a retelling of the original trilogy and comes with Luke Skywalker and Princess Leia. So we're going to look at that here in a second. But first thing I'm going to show you is the stuff I picked up from uh, all the various places. I picked up Twilight of the Republic Power Disc Pack. I also picked up the two Tron figures. I picked up uh, Sam Flynn and Quora. From Star Wars, I picked up, I believe this was the uh, Toys R Us exclusive, Kanan Jarrus. Ezra Bridger, who was also a store exclusive. I believe he was, actually Kanan was Walmart. I think Ezra was Toys R Us. I picked up Obi-Wan Kenobi, who was not a store exclusive. Sabine Wren, who was a store exclusive for Target. Yoda. And last but not least, Zeb Aurelios, who was the GameStop exclusive, as I mentioned. Let's see what's inside this Saga Bundle. I think that's everything. Alright. So, from what I can tell, it looks like they just packaged the stuff that you can get separately together. There's no type of fancy packaging or anything in here. Uh, so let's go ahead and start with uh, another easiest item to get out. Looks to be the uh, Star Wars Disney Infinity 3.0 Starter Pack. 
This, like I mentioned, is the Twilight of the Republic, based in the Clone Wars era. It's got Ahsoka Tano, Anakin Skywalker. It comes with the world that you can play in. Hold that up so you can see it. All right. Here is the Boba Fett, which is exclusive to the Saga Edition, I believe, until early 2016. Here he is. And finally, the Rise Against the Empire playset, with also, which comes with Luke Skywalker and Princess Leia. And there that is. Here is one final look at all the figures that I received. So, the Rise of the Empire, Yoda, Obi-Wan, Zeb, Kanan, Boba Fett, Sabine Wren, Ezra Bridger, then Sam and Quora, as well as the Disney Infinity 3.0 Starter Pack. Looking forward to popping it in. For uh, my thoughts on the game and more, keep it tuned to the Ideology of Madness YouTube channel and ideologyofmadness.com. Thanks for watching.